Hello and welcome to my kitchen. For this strawberry season, I have a perfect recipe for you and that is strawberry shortcake. For this recipe, you will need flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, butter, eggs, cream, buttermilk, strawberries. Strawberry shortcake is not really a cake but it is a biscuit that is topped with strawberries and whipped cream. Now when I'm saying biscuit, I'm an American biscuit because I know in other countries uh, cookies and crackers is also called as biscuit. So American biscuit is similar to scones. First thing we'll do is preheat the oven at 425 Fahrenheit. Once we preheat the oven, the second step we are going to do is macerate the strawberries. To macerate the strawberries, we are just going to slice the strawberries. You don't want to chop them, just keep like big pieces like this and then we will add sugar to it. So in simple words, we are going to marinate the strawberries. This process will help the strawberries to get all those lovely juices out and it will also make them soft. So it will be nice on the cake and yeah, that's all we are doing. There is no really quantity for this, but I'm using 400 grams of strawberries. To this, I'm going to add one third cup of sugar. Now, these strawberries are really sweet. If your strawberries are sour, you can add more sugar. So now to the strawberries, I'm just going to add some sugar. Now give it a stir. We are going to keep this aside until our biscuits gets ready. So then it will soak up pretty good. You can add a lemon juice or vanilla if you want, but I like to stay with the original strawberry taste. Let's mix all the dry ingredients. Now all the ingredients and the, their quantities you saw earlier in the video and I have also mentioned it in the description box below. And yeah, that's where you will find it. So let's mix this all good. This recipe is super easy. Now to this, we are going to grate the butter in. Use the paper comes with the butter to hold it. So your fingers won't melt it. Just directly grate it in it. If you want, you can also chop the cubes of the butter, but I think this way is a lot easier than the cubes. Once all the butter is grated, gently mix it in the flour. Now uh, you don't want to melt the butter so be careful with that. With your body heat it may melt so just gently mix it like this. Just toss it in it. Once our butter and dry ingredients are mixed we'll keep this aside and mix all our liquid ingredients. So here I have a buttermilk. To this I'm going to add cream. Again, all the ingredients and their quantities, you will find it in the description box or in the beginning of the video. To this, I'm going to add egg. And now let's mix all this. Now to our dry ingredients, we are going to add all this liquid ingredients. And gently mix it all. You don't want to mix it too much, just a little bit. Here we are not looking for a smooth, soft dough. So this is actually perfect. Now we can stop kneading. Now onto any dry, clean surface, put generous amount of flour. This is refined flour and spread it good. On this, I'm going to put this dough and we are going to roll it on here. 
Now you want the flour on top here too. So just sprinkle some here too. Get your rolling pin and start rolling. Now you don't want to roll this out too thin. You want like nice thick biscuits. Now use a cookie cutter or donut cutter. Here I'm using a donut cutter to cut out our biscuits. That's a lovely piece right there. I'm going to transfer this on a baking pan. Now whatever is left, we'll put it all together. Make again a dough and follow the process again. Now we are going to brush these biscuits with the cream. I added a few drops of water to make it a little liquidy. You don't have to, but I like to. So I added a few drops of water here. And then after I brush, I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on it. So let's do that. Don't put it on the side, just on the top. Sprinkle some sugar so it will get nice crust on the top and the sweetness. Now I'm going to put these biscuits in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. It depends on the size of your biscuit. These are medium size, so they will take like 15 to 16 minutes. So let's do that. In 16 minutes, our biscuits are ready. These are really hot right now, so I'm going to let them cool down. Our biscuits are nicely cooled down and the strawberry is ready too. You see all those juices? That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, strawberry juice mixed with the sugar. And that's going to taste real good on our biscuits or shortcake. So let's cut this in half. This is super easy. This is, I'm using cool whip. You can use a ready whip. What I will do is put that juice down with some strawberries. Let the biscuits soak into the strawberry juices. On the top, we are going to put whipped cream. And then we are going to make a sandwich. I will put some whipped cream again. And put a couple strawberries on it. And there you have. It's super easy. All those juices going to be soaked by the biscuit and it going to taste real good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.